<laughs> okay, turning now to the kitchen. Of course, Jolene is in our kitchen this morning. What about you? What would you buy yourself, Jolene? You know, the, the you know the heavy, you know, like little crusade pans. Oh, yeah. You know, they're so pretty. The colors. You yeah, know, I, pots I, and pan sets. And, and so pricey. <laughs> <laughs> but I, yeah, but I might, but cheap. I might, but I might splurge if if I were going to do that. I might do that. I okay. might buy a, put that a, on Jolene's list for a sure. Pan. <laughs> right. Well, it just makes everything cook better. And if you're in the kitchen quite a bit, I say why not? It's going to get a lot of right? use out of it. And it lasts forever. Yes. Right. Okay. Smells are filling our kitchen. <laughs> what am I smelling this morning? So Jolene? you are smelling the beginnings of um, potato and leek soup with fennel, which is, fennel. I think, kind of an underappreciated vegetable. Okay. You know, it's the ones that have these funny fronds, yes. you know, that you see, and they look kind of kind of silly. Um, but they have a little bit of an anise flavor, you know, just a little, just a little bit uh, of that. And I think it adds kind of an interesting flavor, something you might not have all the time. Right. Um, to, to sort of liven up what is really leftover mashed potatoes. <laughs> okay. So if you maybe from Thanksgiving end up with some leftover mashed potatoes like I have here, yeah. um, you can make a lovely potato soup. So okay. what, I, what I have sauteing here um, is the sliced fennel as well as some leeks, you know, and they have that nice, um, the light green color up at the top of the leeks, and so that's going to add a nice little color to our soup. Um, so this is just celery, leeks, and fennel, and a okay. little salt that have been sautéing around here until they, until they get nice and soft, um, about 15 minutes 15 or so. minutes. And then, uh, and again, I always feel like my recipes, I'm going to say there's nothing to it, <laughs> but there really isn't. So then you just add your leftover mashed potatoes. Okay. And that's about three cups of mashed potatoes, you know, just you know, <laughs> seasoned up just like you, just you like it. Smash you know. it all up. Yeah, so so it's um, mashed potatoes, and you start to stir it in there, and then you add some chicken broth. Um, so we're going to add about six cups. Okay. So one of the, one of the your typical containers is four cups. So you're going to add that, and then a little bit more. Um, you could add some heavy cream or okay. milk if you wanted it to be nice and rich. Yeah. But you know, my potatoes typically already have butter and some cream right. or milk in them anyway. So, I just like ideas though of being able to use something because maybe you don't want to throw it away, right? You feel like well, you it's know, such a waste. You know, I'm such a potato head, so I do love my mashed potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I would, I would hate to throw them away. Right. Now we had a question yesterday, Jolene, is is gravy a must-have on your mashed potatoes? Do you do gravy? You know, I go back and forth. You do. I do. I do like gravy on my potatoes, but then I also just like butter and salt and pepper on my mashed potatoes. Okay. So I. On my Thanksgiving plate, I might have two servings of potatoes. <laughs> there <laughs> one, you go. One with gravy and then um, one with just butter. Hey, and there are no rules, Jolene. <laughs> you do you. That's exactly okay, right. Okay, so what happens from here? So, so then you would just um, add a little salt and pepper. Okay. And then if you have um, an immersion blender like this, Oh, yeah. It's really handy. I did not have one of those, but I hear good things. You know, it was a Christmas present that it I asked was. for one year, and my husband went took the kids to the to the kitchen shop <laughs> and, and, bought me a, and bought me a little immersion blender. I like that. So you just, you know. Well, and that doesn't take long because the potatoes are already mashed. It doesn't take long. And so, and, and you get this lovely little green color um, from the, from the oh, leaves. look at that. And I just thought it would make a nice little soup, you know, a little drizzle with a yeah, little oil. Yeah, pretty. Yeah. And I like that you show us these, too, and how to use those because too often we go through, right, the produce department at the I grocery know, store. and you think, oh, Jolene, that's I silly. pass right by those. <laughs> Because I see that and I don't know what to do with that. Right, so there's a little there's a little bulb on the end. It kind of has a bit of an onion look about it. Yeah. Um, and then you, know, you can toss in some thyme or some sage if you want to make it, you know, give it that Thanksgiving kind of flavor. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, too. And then, and then just blend it up. Or you can put it in the blender in batches. Right. Do you do leftovers in general at your house? Is, is oh, I okay. love leftovers. I you look do. forward to the Thanksgiving you leftovers. You do? Okay, do you make like the turkey into like different sandwiches and things? Or you do know, you just eat a, it the way it was? A turkey Manhattan is just delicious. Okay, and that, that of course, good. has the, the sliced turkey on a sandwich yeah. cut on the diagonal, split Ooh. apart. 
with mashed potatoes <laughs> in the middle and gravy over the top of it. Oh, you are very particular. Oh, you know, my Manhattan, I am, I, am, I am firm <laughs> about what a Manhattan should be. Oh, you're so cute. I love this, Jolene. <laughs> and thank you so much. Of course, you can learn more at thesignaturetable.com. We'll put that link on IndieStyle.tv. Thank you, Jolene.